What's going on guys, E-Drone here and today we're going to be going over my Furious FPV receiver module for my Fat Shark HD3s and the antennas I went with. Stay tuned. So I went ahead and picked up this True D Diversity Module Receiver by Furious FPV for my Fat Shark HD3s. I went with the Furious FPV because they have a very good reputation. They're cheaper than the LaForge uh, module, and you don't have to worry about running an external wire across the goggles or taking the goggles apart and possibly voiding your warranty and running the wire inside. Now, after various, um, or actually multiple tests that I have seen online where um, people have tested this module here against uh, several others, I didn't see anything that, that was big enough of a deal for me to not want to get these. Um, they seem to work very well, and the user interface is pretty easy to navigate from what I can tell. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see what you get. So it comes in a nice plastic case. and is encased in foam, as you can see. So here we have the Furious FPV True D module here. Now what's really nice about this module is it actually comes with the 90 degree SMA connector and a 45 degree SMA connector. Here's the actual module here. And you see that you have your uh, true diversity that's what the true D stands for so diversity is uh, when it will switch between the two different signals to find the best signal to keep your video feed optimized and it has a three button interface some furious FBV sticker LCD screen which we'll take a look at once we get it plugged in and it has this nice clear housing there's the back of the module and you can see it has the pins that are going to clip right into place in our fat shark module bay and overall, the quality feels really nice. Uh, here's a QC sticker here saying that this passed the quality inspection, so that's a good sign. Um, you know, this 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 particular module um, is decently priced. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's overpriced, but it's definitely not a budget um, receiver module. It looks good, and I'm glad that they actually give you the plastic housing that way you don't have to 3D print anything for it. Another unique, uh, or actually a very good feature of this module is it comes with a USB port here for updating the firmware. Uh, this has the latest version of firmware, which is 3.7. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install this module bay here in the actual goggles. So all you have to do is take this cover off of your fat sharks, and it just pops right off, it's just a cover. And you see, right along here, we have our pins. This module is going to line right up with those pins. So once we line this module up exactly where it needs to go, there's two clips here and two clips on the top of the module that are going to snap into place once you get your pins lined up. You need to get your pins lined up in order for the module to snap into place. I now have the pins in the goggles lined up and you're just gonna snap it into place you hear it snap in meaning you have a good connection and that's what it looks like actually in the goggles looks pretty cool I like the clear I like being able to see behind the cover to see the electronics I think that's really neat the buttons look like they're very easy to press so we'll get ready to turn the module on here and we're going to go ahead and take our battery case here, get our goggles ready to be powered up. And this is the Fat Shark um, 18650 battery case. And I've got two Panasonic 18650 battery. Um, I actually did a uh, video on these, so check that out. And we're going to put this in, negative side up and positive side up. Go ahead and close this. Check our count, we got full battery here. Before we power on the module, let me go ahead and go over the antennas I chose um, for my goggles in this module. So the antennas I chose 
is a SpiroNet 5.8 gigahertz circular polarized patch antenna. It is 8 dBi and it is right hand circular polarized. This is from Immersion RC and and this is a very uh, high quality patch antenna that's gotten a lot of good results. And the good thing about it is it's actually a mini size. Go look here, go ahead and open the package up. And I love the small size, but even though it's a small size, it works incredibly well. It's 8 dBi and it is a SMA connector. The circular antenna, we're gonna be using the tried and true and tested TBS Triumph Stubby. So this is gonna keep a nice low profile on the goggles and we got a pack of two here. I'll put a link in the description for all these items, the antennas, the, uh, the receiver module, everything will be in the description. But TBS Triumph has been tried and tested. It is a very reliable antenna. It's very robust. Let's go ahead and get this uh, fired up here and we're gonna fire it up without the antennas first. So we can go ahead and, and get this thing calibrated. And we'll go ahead and get our battery in here. Stretch this out like that. And the we need to power up the quad. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in our battery. All right, we got the, we got the quad plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the power to the Fat Shark goggles. Okay. And the flickering, you're not, you, you, you see on the camera, you're not going to actually see that in real life. Now we're going to go into our menu. We're going to settings. And we're going to go to calibrate. And we're going to put this a decent amount away from the quad, about this far. That should be fine. And it says complete. So we have now calibrated and you can see it found the correct channel that my VTX is on which is A3 so we're going to go ahead and select that and now we are calibrated and synced up now let's go ahead and go over the menu user face we can choose our different race bands here it's it's already set to race band Here's our menu, we have save channels, we have race mode, our settings, our band scanner, smart search, and then all channels. So let's go into the settings, and you see now we can, we can calibrate. And this needs to be calibrated to the quad. Have your filter here, which we'll leave the normal. You can change this so when it switches diversity, it will either switch um, a lot, uh, normal, or a little bit. Here's the auto lock. We have an alarm we can set. We can set 20%, 35%, 50%, or none. And of course, we have exit. And this you can make your custom splash screen. So if you want to change, to say something else, you can. Actually go through and, and make that say whatever you want. Uh, so I, I may go ahead and just change that to e-drone and do something custom. And if you wait and don't push any buttons, it will time out and go back to the main menu or you can just hit exit. So if you hold, it will save channels for you. You can actually lock in channels as well by hold, whoops. <laughs> You can actually lock in channels by holding the middle button and it will lock into that channel so you don't accidentally change your channel. So you got race mode here. You can select whichever race band you want. Race, race band one, two, three, or four. You can do change. Exit race band there. This is the new screensaver and it actually shows, uh, it's a little face here, it shows all your information as far as your RSSI, uh, your two antennas, how good your signal is on either antenna, and it also um, shows what race band you're on. Or, and you can manually change your channels this way as well, but this is, this is something new on the 3.7 firmware, uh, this screen here. So far, it's really easy to work, to use, Let's go ahead and do smart search. And this is something you can actually take advantage of if you go to some kind of an event or a race. 
it will actually try to find all the open channels and display them so you know um, who, who's running on what frequency. And you see it's timing out and it goes back to the main screen here. The top button, you can go through the different screen savers. I personally just like the, the, the normal screen here. That's probably what I'll be using. So you see these LED lights here. You have a red up top and a blue down here. So let me see if I can get the switch. You see that? When it switches, it actually is telling you which has a stronger signal. Here you can see what it looks like with the antennas on, and it's de definitely not, uh, doesn't take up a large profile at all, especially with the uh, stubby and this uh, mini patch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And in the next upcoming videos, we're going to put the Fat Sharks on for the first time, and uh, you'll get my reactions on that. And we're going to go ahead and fly the drone around and just see how well this module and these antennas with this setup actually works. Really have high hopes for this setup. Thanks so much, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. E-Drone, out.